Hi, my name is Morgan Rauscher, and I sculpted this artwork out of recycled bicycle components and used a chainsaw so that you could sculpt things out of wood using video game controllers. I'm going to take you through a short video series of how I made this, and I uh, hope you enjoy. In this video, I'm going to show you how I built this chainsaw tool at the end of the robotic arm, which actually, interestingly enough, started out as an axe. In a previous video in this series, I talk about how I deconstructed a kid's bike to get the gears that I needed. I also got the chain that I needed from the same kid's bike, and using a chain wrench, I resized the chain to my needs. Then I picked up this used Bosch BMW windshield wiper motor and using a marker I marked out these mounting holes to be drilled into the steel plate. The motor mount fit nice and snug and once I got a gear onto the motor it was all ready to go. Eventually these components would become the chainsaw rotation assembly. But before we get into the chainsaw tool details let me tell you a short story. Once upon a time I went to the hardware store to do a little tool shopping. I was looking for the biggest and baddest tool of the bunch, and this Super Duty Sawzall caught my attention right away. I knew the Sawzall was super tough, because I had used it to cut out the round forms from these plywood planks that I show in other videos in this series. Of course, like anything else, I was curious enough to take it apart to have a look and see what its guts look like. Eventually I decided what it needs is a hatchet. So I began the long process of designing and building a Sawzall hatchet tool. This involved refining and selecting components from my recycled bicycle collection. It also involved thinking about how to design a way to mount the tool to the robotic arm, just to name a few challenges. Here you can see us bending metal rod that eventually got used as a support system for the tool end assembly. Lots of cutting, grinding, and cleaning the metal that was basically hacked, sculpted, and welded together once the tool assembly was in place, and the saws all fit into it nice and snug, it was time to form the axe mount. An anvil and a decent sized hammer were just the right tools for the job. Back to the hardware store for a little bit more shopping, and I was able to find all of the hardware that I needed to connect everything together. Finally, I had to cut the sawzall blade so that it could be welded and mounted to the hatchet assembly. Here you can see the studio tests of the sawzall hatchet attached to the end of the robotic arm. Unfortunately, this new tool that I had invented wasn't the perfect fit for my robotic arm. And even though it cut through various materials quite well, I needed a little more power. So we started off with this uh, Grand First Brooks hatchet. Apparently very sharp, but uh, didn't quite do it. So we're going to exchange this for this. The tools at the end of the robotic arm are designed to be easily exchangeable. And so it didn't take very long to replace the old hatchet tool with a new chainsaw. First I made sure to get the right chainsaw and got to work disassembling, reconfiguring, and mounting the chainsaw to the robotic tool end. Chainsaw, arms working well. The chainsaw easily cut through anything we put in its way and it ended up becoming a really fun addition to the project.
Next up in this video series, find out about my DIY door stopper touch sensor. Get a peek at the motor controllers that I used for my robotics project. And I'll even share how I programmed the robot. Thanks for watching, stay tuned and I hope you enjoyed this video.